today, I want to talk about purpose. But I'm not here to give you the standard commencement about finding your purpose. We're millennials. We try to do that instinctively. Instead, I'm here to tell you that finding your purpose isn't enough. The challenge for our generation is to create a world where everyone has a sense of purpose. Purpose is that feeling that you are a part of something bigger than yourself, that you are needed, and that you have something better ahead to work for. Purpose is what creates true happiness. And you are graduating at a time when this is especially important. When our parents graduated, that sense of purpose reliably came from your job, your church, your community. But today, technology and automation are eliminating many jobs. Membership in a lot of communities has been declining, and a lot of people are feeling disconnected and depressed and are trying to fill a void in their lives. As I've traveled around, I've sat with children in juvenile detention and opioid addicts who have told me that maybe their lives would have turned out differently if they just had something to do, an after-school program or somewhere to go. I've met factory workers who know their old jobs aren't coming back and are just trying to find their path ahead. For our society to keep moving forward, we have a generational challenge to not only create new jobs, but create a renewed sense of purpose. An entrepreneurial culture thrives when it is easy to try lots of new ideas. Facebook wasn't the first thing I built. I also built chat systems and games, study tools and music players, and I'm not alone. J.K. Rowling got rejected 12 times before she finally wrote and published Harry Potter. Even Beyonce had to make hundreds of songs to get Halo. <laughs> the greatest successes come from having the freedom to fail. Now, today, we have a level of wealth inequality that hurts everyone. When you, can't, when you don't have the freedom, to take your idea and turn it into a historic enterprise, we all lose. And right now, today, our society is way over-indexed on rewarding people when they're successful, and we don't do nearly enough to make sure that everyone can take lots of different shots. Now, let's face it. There is something wrong with our system when I can leave here and make billions of dollars in 10 years while millions of students can't even afford to pay off their loans, let alone start a business. Look, I know a lot of entrepreneurs, and I don't know a single person who gave up on starting a business because they were worried they might not make enough money. But I know too many people who haven't had the chance to pursue their dreams because they didn't have a cushion to fall back on if they failed. We all know you don't get successful just by having a good idea or working hard. You get successful by being lucky, too. If I had to support my family growing up instead of having the time to learn how to code, if I didn't know that I was going to be fine if Facebook didn't work out, then I wouldn't be standing up here today. And if we're honest, we all know how much luck we've had to get to this point in our lives. Every generation expands its definition of equality. Previous generations fought for the vote and civil rights. They had the New Deal and great society. And now it's time for our generation to define a new social contract. We should have a society that measures progress, not just by economic metrics like GDP, but by how many of us have a role we find meaningful. We should explore ideas like universal basic income to make sure that everyone has a cushion to try new ideas. We're all going to change jobs and roles many times, so we need affordable childcare to get to work and health care that's not tied to just one employer. 
And we're all going to make mistakes. So we need a society that's less focused on locking us up and stigmatizing us when we do. And as our technology keeps on evolving, we need a society that is more focused on providing continuous education through our lives. And yes, giving everyone the freedom to pursue purpose isn't going to be free. People like me should pay for it. And a lot of you are going to do really well, and you should too. That is why Priscilla and I started the Chan Zuckerberg Initiative and committed our wealth to promoting equal opportunity. These are the values of our whole generation. It was never a question of if we were going to do this. The only question was when. Millennials are already one of the most charitable generations in history. In just one year, more than three in four U.S. millennials donated to charity, and more than seven in ten raised money for another one. But it's not just about giving money. You can also give time. And I promise you, if you just take an hour or two a week, that's all it takes to give someone a hand and help them reach their potential. Now, maybe you're thinking, that's a lot of time. I'm not sure if I have that much time. I used to think that. You know, when Priscilla graduated from Harvard, she became a teacher. And before she'd do education work with me, she told me that I needed to get my own experience teaching a class. At first, I complained. I said, you know, I'm kind of busy. I'm running this company. But she insisted. So I taught an after-school program at the local Boys and Girls Club on entrepreneurship. I taught those kids lessons on product development and marketing, and they taught me what it was like growing up feeling targeted for your race, and what it's like having a family member in prison. I shared stories of my time in school, and they shared their hope that one day they would get to go to college too. For five years, I've had dinner with those students every month, one of them even threw Priscilla and me our first baby shower. <laughs> and next year, they're going to college. Every one of them, first generation in their families. We can all make time to give someone a hand. Let's give everyone the freedom to pursue purpose, not just because it's the right thing to do, but because when more people can turn their dreams into something great, we are all better for it.